that I mean, one, it, 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 it absolutely had, you know, I was, I was awake. I was sure of it. And two, like I was on top of all of my covers, which were pulled up all the way up to my pillow. Like how I would have, how basically where they would have been when I fell asleep underneath them, which I thought was, was pretty strange. And, uh, just to, to add on to this story, even probably, Boy, four or five years later, uh, I was in uh, Ohio for my cousin's wedding. And my my brother and and I um, were, well, we were there with our, our, our whole family. And so, you know, we had had a, 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 a few beers at the reception, and it ended kind of early, you know. And we were in Ohio, and we didn't really have anything to do. We are in, like, Dayton, Ohio. And so we were like, well, okay, everybody's going back to the hotel or whatever. And, well, I don't know. I'm not tired. Let's go find a bar or something. And so, like, we found, uh, we just find this bar pretty close to our, our hotel. And we're having a few beers just, you know, hanging out. And at one point, you know, I was just like, hey, has anything, because I had really never talked to, to my, my siblings about this stuff. I, I do now, but pretty much through the entirety of my 20s up until that point, really up until this conversation, I hadn't really talked to them about it. Um, You know, it's just like, hey, has anything weird ever happened to you in mom and dad's house? You know, like just out of curiosity. And he looks at me and I swear to God, he says, well, okay, Um, there was one time where I woke up And there was this shadowy, uh, like man, like shadow man, basically is, is how he described it. I I woke up and there was a shadowy figure that looked like a man standing next to my bed. Um, but you know, I just thought maybe I was seeing things or something. And so I, I just, I rolled back over and like went back to sleep. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Really? Because hearing that from him, um, you know, up until then, too, you know, I just, there was always in the back of my mind this sort of doubt where I was like, you know, am I crazy? Like, what else, like, what, I, I know I had experienced weird stuff before that, but, like, this was just so sort of extreme, I think. But to hear that from him, without any prompting from me, uh, basically talk about seeing the same thing standing next to his bed. I mean, it was, uh, it was, it was pretty heavy. Like it was mind blowing stuff. So, um, yeah, I don't know what I would do if I saw a, a, a seven foot skeleton, but I can <laughs> tell you if I wake up floating a couple of feet above my bed, seeing a, a, a shadow man, I remain pretty calm considering the uh, circumstances. Well, I would, because you know what, <laughs> one thing I, I was thinking here too, while you're talking, not to change the subject, mm-hmm. But, you know, a lot of the move on investigators, which I know a lot of them, a lot of them, if their focus is only on UFOs and aliens and you start talking about cryptics to them, they kind of brush you off. It, it, I noticed that talking to them. I mean, it, 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 it's funny. And people not wanting to come forward. I, I know back about eight, nine months ago, I had a police sergeant from a Portland Police Department wanted to come on my show because he claimed him and his wife saw an alien or two aliens by Tillamook, Oregon. And he wanted to come and talk about it. But after about a week and a half, he cooled because he said, I got just a few more years for retirement. And he goes, I got a funny feeling. If I come on your show, I won't be able to go to work because everybody's going to be making fun of me. And I could see that because I, I think people are scared, you know, depending on the type of jobs they have if they're with the public or whatever to, you know, come out and say that they saw a shadow man or they, they saw an alien or they saw, you know, moth man or anything like that. Oh yeah. No, I mean, you're, you're absolutely right. Um, you know, I, honestly, first of all, and this always drives me nuts. Um, you know, there is so much division amongst, uh, investigators and, 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 and researchers and stuff where, you know, you've got, uh, you know, somebody who believes in Bigfoot, 
who thinks that, you know, the idea of ghosts existing is crazy. And then the ghost guys think the UFO guys are stupid. And it's all just so bizarre because if you really study these phenomena, you see that, that, you know, they have so many, uh, uh, there's so many similarities, uh, you know, like the, the, these experiences have, have so many, uh, commonalities to them where, I mean, there aren't these nice, even lines, you know, because like, okay, for instance, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the real hard line scientific materialism, uh, you know, undiscovered primate species, uh, uh, like Bigfoot guys, they hate hearing about UFO sightings in active Bigfoot areas. They hate hearing about, you know, people uh, like witnesses who who describe UFO occupants as, you know, being similar uh, to a Sasquatch. Like they hate that stuff because it blows their whole paradigm up. And and there's just too much of it, frankly. Like there's too much of that kind of stuff in this field. You know, just I mean, and, or uh, specifically in 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 UFOs. You know. You've got materialists, again, like the, the, the hardline, you know, sort of uh, scientific materialists who don't want to entertain any, any of the, the nuance. You know, like they don't want to hear about psychic experiences in relation to, to UFOs. And nobody wants to, to talk about the weird sort of uh, uh, ghost-like or, or, or resembling a, a, a haunting, really, uh, range of phenomena that seems to follow almost all of this stuff. I mean, it's not uncommon to talk to Bigfoot witnesses or uh, UFO witnesses or especially, you know, UFO contactees or abductees, um, Mothman sighting uh, 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 witnesses, and have them tell you about things that have happened to them afterwards that for the life of me, if you just were talking about the uh, phenomena since would sound exactly like a haunting. Like I was on your show not that long ago and we were talking about that, that uh, witness uh, uh, to whom I had spoken out in Maryland and how she and her son, after they had her sight or, or, or uh, their sighting rather, um, they had this uh, radio that just kept turning on by itself. It, you know, it, it wasn't new. They had this radio for some time. It had never done that before. But normally, when you hear about that kind of uh, um, electrical malfunction, like that, that kind of anomaly, you know, you would associate that with a, a, a haunting, frankly. Um, but no, I mean, it's, it, there's just so much overlap that I, I really don't understand, uh, you know, people who want to excise uh, any phenomenon from the, the, the whole of the uh, uh, paranormal field of, of uh, study. I think, it's, I think it's lazy thinking, honestly. I, I, I do. I think it's just easier, you know, for people to have their particular set of hypotheses uh, that fits in the theory they've already decided is true. And, uh, and anything outside of that, you know, they just, they don't want any part of it. And so they're, you know, having already made their mind up, they'll just um, assume that anything that doesn't fit into their, their personal paradigm is, is false. And anybody who believes it must be stupid. Yeah, I um, see that. I, you know, recently I had some guests on the show that, you know, they 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 claim that Bigfoot is not real. It's just a paranormal event tied in with UFOs, which James, if I remember right, weren't even real either. It's all paranormal, all kind of fake. Uh, and when they were on the show, I I listened to them for an hour and a half, and I, I really. They didn't have nothing to say, really. It, it made any logical sense, period, let alone it, they could have summed it all up in three minutes. But I found out when I interviewed the guy, pre-interviewed him before the show, 
you know, he says, do you believe in Bigfoot? And I said, yes, I do. And I told him what I saw. And, and it's funny yeah. when people have their mind made up or they think that Bigfoot or Mothman is what they think it is in their head. If somebody actually, you know, seen it and you try to explain to him, no, I think you're wrong because what I seen was flesh and blood type of thing. It wasn't a ghostly thing or it wasn't given off orbs that wasn't connected to, you know, <laughs> UFOs or anything like that. They look at you like sure. you're lying. And, you know, I, 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 it just frustrates me because I see it so much. You see this funny thing, like the people that are into cryptics are into cryptics. The people who are into Bigfoot, if you start talking anything other than Bigfoot, they don't want to talk to you. If, if mm. the, a lot of people that are into UFO and the aliens, then there's even a battle going in between those groups right now. It's really been heated up for the last six, seven months more than normal for some reason. You're you're right about that, Gary. Our guests come on like that, and a lot of them have went from being um, convinced that it's a cryptid to now it's it's something spiritual or alien, and the and it's very detrimental to the field to be tunnel vision. You need to be open minded and look at the facts and, and go about that because if not, it it's causes conflict and it, and it hurts the field all around in all aspects of it. Well put. Oh yeah, I mean that's that's absolutely right. I mean, if if somebody were to ask me, you know, I, I would say that the real boy, the, the the real mystery to well, let's say Bigfoot specifically is how you can have something that uh, at at once appears to to affect things physically, but also uh, um, is capable of, of apparently taking action that, for lack of a better wor uh, word, seems to be paranormal. For instance, you know, you'll hear reports of, of people seeing Bigfoot, and just like you, Gary, it seems like this flesh and blood, you know, living uh, uh, creature, and, uh, and they might even find footprints, but you know they'll they'll take a shot at it, um, or 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 you know they'll just see it like disappear, you know. Or, or well, I should have finished my, my my first thought. Like they'll take a shot at it, and 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 they're sure that that they hit it, but there's no blood. Um, it's like it just passed right through it. Or you know they'll 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 see this thing and it'll vanish right in front of them. You know I've I've got people. Uh, well, uh, a good friend of mine, uh, the uh, um, uh, southeastern Wisconsin investigator Jay Bachochin, you know, he was out in 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 the woods and he found, boy, I want to say it was it was three tracks. And this isn't anywhere where anybody should have been, you know, uh, 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 let alone some hoaxer trying to to plant tracks out. And it, you know, it's it's. It's like, well, how did we just get three tracks in the middle of this forest? Uh, the ground wasn't any different, so it's not like you went from really, you know, hard ground into soft mud or something and then back to hard ground where maybe you would think tracks would disappear. Uh, I want to say this was in relatively deep snow. Um, and so it's, 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 it's just baffling because, again, it's, uh, it, it appears to be simultaneously physical, you know, leaving some sort of physical evidence, but also capable of, of action that, you know, we're sort of forced to describe, for lack of any better term, as, as being paranormal. And maybe that means that, you know, we just don't understand it well enough yet. I mean, because certainly we, we don't. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just, it, it's also bizarre. And you really can't ignore any part of it. Because I, I, I think that when you do, um, you're just, you're, you're, you're never going to get any closer to, to finding any kind of answers that way. Well, I think you, you said it right. And, you know, you talk about like Bigfoot or something just vanishing. Well, in my case, the Bigfoot didn't vanish. I vanished. Anyway, we're going to be going on a break again. Uh, you know, the last break, uh, uh, while we have Tobias on. And then when we come back, uh, Tobias, if you have any scary uh, reports, you know, because Hall. 